Welcome back, folks, to my Antique Tools series. Today is episode three, and we'll be discussing this Craftsman Torque Wrench. So come on in closer, and we'll take a look at it. All righty. So this is a Sears Craftsman Torque Wrench, model number... Nine four four six four one, and it goes up to one hundred and fifty foot pounds of torque, and it's a half inch drive. So this is an old analog torque wrench. Now the modern torque wrenches I think are ratcheted, which are probably more precise than. This old analog type, and the way these worked is put your uh, socket on the half inch drive here, put it on the bolt that you're torquing down or the nut that you're torquing down, and then just pull on it. And then the needle here <coughs> would show you how many torque, how many foot pounds of torque you're you're putting on that nut or bolt. I'm not sure the age of this specific torque wrench. I think I bought this back in the early 70s, um, which would make sense. It might have been the early 80s, uh, but no no later than that. I really started giving up on working on cars in the early 80s. Um, I think I bought this in the, in the early 70s, about when I turned 16 and had my own car to work on. I think I bought this for some jobs I was doing at that time. It's getting a little rusty now. It's been hanging around in the barn here in my garage previously. So it's a little rusty, but I'd say it's probably 50 years old. And I still use it occasionally, although not that often, because again, as I said, I don't do a lot of uh, major work on, on cars anymore. I usually bring them to a mechanic and let them do it. They're just too hard to work on these days. Uh, but it does sit in my wooden toolbox, and I'll probably show that in a future video, my old wooden toolbox. So it usually sits in there waiting to be used. Now, most people know that Sears did not manufacture their own tools they, um, and appliances. They contracted with other manufacturers. Uh, and I did some research on this uh, model torque wrench to see who manufactured it. And I couldn't find anything online on uh, the company that manufactured it or when the years that they were made. But again, I think I bought this in the early 70s. So it's getting up there in age. And I still remember when it was brand new. So if anybody has any more information on this torque wrench and this model, uh, who manufactured it, when they were manufactured, I'd appreciate knowing. So uh, let me know in the comments. Well, folks, that's just a quick, short video on my Craftsman Torque Wrench. I've been really busy around the property here and at work, so I haven't had time to do much research on some of these antique tools that I'll be showing in my ep in my, my episodes, in my series. Um, but here's a quick sneak peek at what's coming up in Episode 4. I've got all these old levels here that I hope some people find interesting. So... Thanks for stopping by, folks. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me in Episode 4, and we'll take a look at these old levels here. Thanks again, folks, for stopping by, and have a good week.